Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Dragon Ball games for the Nintendo GameCube. Dragon Ball Z Budokai is for non-fans a basic fighting game. The game consists of one-on-one -on -one battles and in between fights you get story elements. But for fans, it retells the stories and it does it in an enjoyable fashion. I like the cutscenes in the game. It's one of the few games in this list that have rendered cutscenes and they are very nice to look at. As stories you get the Saiyan Saga, the Namekian Saga, the Android Saga and the Cell Game Saga. And it's nice that they added bonus what if levels after you've completed a saga, so that you can see what would have happened if say the villain would have won. The game has 23 playable characters and each character has multiple forms. Goku has 5 different forms for example. And not only forms, but you can unlock different costumes too for different characters. And the fighting, the core of the game, well, it feels very similar to other fighting games. But it's still an enjoyable experience for both fans and non-fans of the series. It's the type of game that is for everyone. You just pick it up and like, and like it the second you start it. In Budokai 2, the story isn't told as in Budokai 1. But now Budokai 2 features a new Dragon World mode, which is essentially a board game where you control a team of Dragon Ball Z heroes as they move around on a series of maps while fighting bad guys and collecting Dragon Balls. Where Budokai covers the events of Dragon Ball Z up to the Cell Game Saga, Budokai 2 covers the events of the Dragon Ball Z series up to the Kid Buu Saga. While the first game uses a chapter interface to guide the player through the sagas, Budokai 2 uses a much different interactive game board. Each game board represents a different saga of the series, and since the game covers events up to Kid Buu Saga, it includes characters and transformations seen after the Cell Game Saga. So there are 38 characters in the game, all with different forms and costumes to unlock, and there are 9 battle stages in the game. Dragon Ball Z sagas, even if the game reviewers on the internet are claiming that the game is repetitive and dull, I enjoyed it, and it's among my favorite GameCube games of all time. In the game you get 3D spaces and have to beat up small fry and then you get to one on one boss battle matches. The game consists of 19 levels split into multiple sagas, the Saiyan Saga, Ginyu Saga, Frieza Saga, Yardrad Saga, Trunk Saga, Android Saga and the Cell Game Saga. The music is great, you start with very few moves, but as you collect more coin you can unlock more moves. There are 14 playable characters and the levels are diverse and detailed. I enjoyed the game. And as I said, it's among my favorites. The story elements and the music along with the good gameplay hooked me. I would replay this game anytime. 